Well, I got one player. All the sensors are connected to three circuit boards that look similar to this. I'm not sure which one this is, I forgot, but these are all inputs from the sensors and they go into a bunch of AND gates. But anyway, if any four are next to each other, um, it should light up that star, that blue star. So I'm going to drop them right there. Drop them in, and the star lights up. And since they all fell together, it lit up all the way down every step of the way. So now I'll undo that. Yeah. It's pretty complicated. Let, let me uh, zoom in on the, yeah, uh, look at the TV. on the wires. Look at all those. Look at that. It's craziness. Okay, and here's wait. Look at this one. Too. There's one circuit board up there. There's a second one, and they all control. Are they all? It's all switches just to sense if anything is lined up. So there's all of these gates and all of these wires going to them. All connected to these individual sensors. Wow. It's pretty impressive. And if you hold on, go up close again here. I'm gonna watch. Watch the gates. I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to drop them in. And you can just watch the gates kind of cascade. And uh, one of them will finalize. Ready? Here we go. Damn. And which one is the winner? Uh, I think it's up here. Right there. Those no. four. Those lights are lit up right there. Yeah, those ones are lit up. But they're all going to the bottoms of each of these. Oh. So those are for the vertical ones. Oh. Okay, it just hasn't loaded. There it is. So it's these four. They come in. One goes here. Two of them are this. Three of them are this. But this one has all four inputs. And that... So you get an output here to this OR. And since that OR is active, it comes out of this. Goes down here to this three-way OR gate, and since it has one, it comes out and goes across and lights up the star. And he hasn't even done the uh, mechanism to drop the balls in yet, just... nor has he done like the points giving system. So, so you can see now, if I grab this ball, there is still some work to I be done. I it around, see the star just went out because it's not four in a row anymore. And you can see the wires lighting up different places. And if I bring it over to this side, bring it down. Star lights up again. All of then, that. if I look at it, once that one see, is lit up. Now this second. one has all four inputs. Interesting. Wow. Because it's in a different place. And this one's for the vertical, so I have a ball on this one, on this one, on this one, and this one. Horizontal, uh, vertically. So if I stack them vertically, it will like light up, you know, here and here and here and here. It'll light mm -hmm. up these four, and then I'll get an output here to this OR gate, which will also win. Like if I go like this, I'll put that one there. I'll put this one here. I put this one. Over there, it lights up again. Yep. And this no longer has any matches. They're all going to different places. So I got one here, I, I got inputs everywhere. But you go to the vertical, and one of these. No, it could have been no, it's the not next it's one. This one. Yeah, that one right there is the winner. Win. So, that's cool. And I've already tested all the verticals, all the horizontals, and all the diagonals. This one must be the diagonal. But there's still work or, to be done. You still need to do the point system. You still need to do oh yeah, the mechanism. I mean, this, oh yeah, this is that's just for one player. Just for one player, because like, uh, would this be the black or the or the red?
See I have a green and a red sensor for each location. You can just copy and paste though, can't you? Like mm, no. Dang. I have to do it all again. Wow. <laughs> I have to like, connect all but the But at least now you know what you're doing. But like I need I can copy the circuit boards. Yeah. But they'll be blank. Yeah. Still need to attach to them. Attach all the sensors to every one of these. There's four on each one of these things. But anyway. Yeah, there's still work to be done, but it works. And he knows what he's doing now. He was kind of figuring it out the first time around, and now. Can you see how many wires there are? It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, uh. I don't know. I can't think of a good analogy. I spent most of yesterday working on this level. It is almost done. I mean, the uh, the mechanism works. This not I don't have any scoring or end game, but the part where you drop it and it detects the points is working. So I'll hit triangle to jump into my two controllinators. And it's set up so that left and right on the control stick, move it back and forth, and X, oh, and also, the second player right now has no control, can't drop anything, first player can drop the red one. And now, once I've dropped one, I cannot move back and forth. Second player can. And then when they push X, it releases control and gives it back to player one. So it, it uh, toggles who has control of the machine, which is fair. And as soon as you drop your thing, you're out of control. The other person can play. And all the scoring mechanism works, so I'll show you that. Okay, I've got some things stacked up in there. And uh, since there is no end game animation or trigger or anything, once somebody wins, you can just keep playing. So there's three reds in a diagonal and two or three greens stacked up. So I'm going to stack this red one on top and win for the red. And then the heart or the star lights up. And then you can move over here and you can win for the green. Bam, and the green star lights up. So that's cool. It's working. Yes. Hi, Jingle. Come here. Come here. There's Rusty. Calm down, dogs. Calm down. Uh, it's like 11 right now. 11.10. And Mike has been pretty much working on uh, the Connect 4 game all day. Look at all of these wires. He's made a lot of progress, but um, all of these wires. He's working on another complex portion of the game, which uh, he wants to. Uh, whenever someone wins and gets four in a row, he wants those four things to light up. For uh, like, whenever there's four in a row, it, they all light up. Yes. So like. See if I can so that people can off. tell, like, oh, it was there. That's where he won. Because we've played this before, and then, like, uh, someone won, and we didn't even realize it. And then, like, we're like, what? Someone won? <laughs> someone got four in a row? What? <laughs> so, the things I've added since last time you saw it is, uh, I added a front plate, so you can kind of see there's little holes everywhere. So you can see, and also like a little gaming platform type thing. And also the option to play one game, best out of three, or best out of five. Or whoever gets ten wins, which is basically best out of nineteen, which is just really long. Uh, it also calculates who won, it gives them points, 
and it's different points based on which uh, type of game you select it will award different points per win and also when it wins uh, doors open up and everything falls onto these sensors and either blows up or turns into slime and also um, he added like subtle changes like uh, um, oh, yeah, making it so that the that uh, balls right there, yeah. so you cannot drop one if the row is full uh, there's also a control delay so you have to wait two seconds before you can move after the last person puts his thing in yeah and I added some sound effects so anyway. some, so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna like put the con put the I can play both of them okay if you he's want to gonna to demo play. just just a demonstration of the game so here's here you grab the switch and you say right now the red just means insanely long game so I'm just gonna put it you can go five best of three or just a single game so I'm on a single game and you jump and you jump in there now I'm I'm ready and but you can't start the game until the other guy gets in. Yeah, that's another thing I added. See, I can push X. I can try and move it. Nothing will happen until this guy goes over here. Camera changes, and now there's a green dot, which means the green dot means it's that guy's turn. So I can move side to side. So I want to go here. Push X. Bam. Drops down. No control. And then the next now the red guy. guy has control. And say he goes here, and I'll show you on this controller. No, I can't really see the controllers on oh, the well, screen. Yeah. I, c I could move the camera to look at That's the controllers, awesome. but but you can see the dots. Basically, when the dot lights up, it means that player has control. So I can't move until the green light lights up. And, and what he wants green. to do, what what he wants to add. Red, no, is uh, right. lights so you can tell you know where the, the win one. was. Four in a row, bam, game over. That guy won. And the points, you think that would be easy, but it, Mike had a lot of trouble with that. Like it awarded points to one guy. Yeah, it was only awarded instead of the other guy. The... <laughs> that was a little frustrating. Yeah, so even if the second guy won. It would give points to the other guy. So. <laughs> that was fun when I, I was playing and I would win no matter what, even if Mike won. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was cool. fun. Because, you know, I could be like, hey, I bet I will win. And then you would. And then no you would what. win every time. But that's like kind of like cheating. It's not right, so. See, this is fun. It's just... But it's just so much work for like a relatively simple game. But like it would have been a lot more difficult with a little big planet one. <laughs> yes, it would have been way more difficult. And, so and it's been done before. Which is pretty impressive. Because I've seen videos on the uh, uh internets. See? Green guy got five six hundred points. I'm just doing a quick demo. Red goes there. Green over there. Uh, green did a stupid mistake right there. Yay! Red Come gets on. 600 points. And red can't move. You should, like, have a mechanism so, like, if the entire board is filled up, if nobody got any Connect 4s... Yeah, I don't have any of those yet. Then, uh, like, nobody can do anything, you know? Like, it would just be done. And, uh, you should have a mechanism so that it releases all the balls and the game continues. Yeah. Oh, there's four right there. Yay! So yeah, it should add some intense music to it too, like do 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 do. Like Connect Four is the most intense game ever. So yeah, that is the progress Mike has made with this Bye. game.
yeah, disappeared. While Mike is making that Connect 4 on Little Big Planet 2, I am making a stick figure animation. I haven't done one in a while, so uh, hopefully I'll get um, round three up and running soon at some point. Hopefully within this year. That's the stick figure. I see it so far. Wee wah wee wah. You can kind of fill in the blanks. Just me and Mike hitting the stick figure back and forth. Wee bon. Wee bon. I'm just gonna add blood and complete the animation. So yeah, that's what I'm doing while Mike is uh, making Connect Four.